Alright, this is Tyler from Rise of Kings, otherwise known as Slab Jr. And I'm going to be making a video for the community today to show you how to properly RP in any situation. And without very much banter, let's just get straight to the RP. Alright guys, um, this is Number Box Gamer. Um, I'm just kind of recording this for Tyler because he doesn't really have good software, but... Um, you know, this is this is his video, so don't affiliate this with me at all. So, um, yeah, I guess you can just start whenever you want. I'm just going to go ahead and shift click on his shift right click on his character and maybe see what his posture is and how tall his personality stuff like that. Yeah, so guys, and you can see he's pretty much an evil teenager. Yeah, so let me guys just show you my character's card. So he's just 19 years old and just an evil teenager and I spelled Bane wrong, of course. So under uh, behind So um, guys, what we're what I'm using right here is called an emote. An emote is basically um, what your character's doing. It's an action, and uh, whenever there's talking, like up here, um, it's just kind of it's only talking. There's no action affiliated with it. But uh, no. So if you ever hear people saying um, or talking about emotes and stuff, that's what they're referring to. So we're just not going to talk at all. Um, uh, and to do an emote, it's the slash me command. Or some people like to do it like this and put an asterisk around it. And what you just saw me do right here was double brackets, which is um, something that is typed out of character. If you need to say anything that isn't in character, you would either put double parentheses or brackets around it. Yeah. Um, so that, 
there's two ways you can talk out of character on this server. There's slash OOC and then typing, but that's typically just general chat. You're not actually talking out of character. Um, but uh, if you're in a conversation, you want to say something out of character, then you would just do like double brackets, hello, or something, whatever it is you want to say, or you can do double parentheses, hello, double parentheses, like that. I'm sorry, double quotes. I've seen that a couple of times, but um, that, it shouldn't be done like that. that, that yeah, like it's it's dialogue. it's not very good because a lot people can think you're just that's just how you type. But um, I've seen I think I've seen two or three people do it. But uh, parentheses are definitely the way to go. So. Uh, and if you notice in the emotes, he is physically harming my character, but he's not actually using Minecraft mechanics to harm me in any way because it's completely RP based unless both people agree to have a Minecraft PvP fight which we may get to later on If that's a word, devilishly. Yeah, that's yeah, a word. Yeah, it's a word. It's, it's alright. If it's not a word, we know what you mean. It just looks weird. So um, one thing you'll notice that I'm doing is if I want to do an emote inside of text, I'm just using asterisks, and that just means within this text, he, or like in, how do I phrase it, like how he's saying something or how somebody's doing something, I guess. So you can see it right there, it's just... Um, I'm sorry about that guys, I had to stop recording really quick, but uh, you didn't miss anything. It's best when doing emote or even saying how, or even emoting how your character is saying something to go into as much detail as possible. It makes RP easier for everybody around you and helps clear up confusion. Yeah, because if I just said, what do you mean? I, some people can interpret that as I'm saying it like in an, like angrily, like, a, like I'm almost uh, chastising him, but I actually mean it as in like he's scared or he's questioning it. So it um, it just helps out everybody when you uh, use uh, emotes. And from, you can see from what I just typed, by the way, I am site Drew Wild Eye. If you can, I put, if you continue I forward slash will forward slash be able to identify you, when you put a word in forward slashes like that, it usually means that you're putting emphasis on that one word and it makes it easier for people to understand what you mean as well. So like, in this case you'd be saying, if you continue on, what he's actually saying is, I will be able to identify you, but if you didn't say that, it would just be, I will be able to identify you, just a statement. Whereas the way he said it, it comes out as a warning. So, um... 
yeah, doing what I just did there as just continues, that's a very bad example of how to, um, do an emote. Um, normally I would say something like, um, un unaffected Blake continues to, uh, poke the man or prod the man or something. Or ignoring his warning, Blake continues to prod the man or something along those lines. Because you want to be as eloquent as possible when you're RPing, because it, uh, I don't know, it just looks better, I guess. I don't know if he's done it during the video, but if he had held down shift and right clicked my character, you, you would see the physical characteristics of him and that he is actually a very tall person. And I'm not actually sure if uh, Numberbox has more player models, but that also shows that I am extremely tall compared to his character. Yeah, you guys can see, um, let me just go into F5. My character is slight, a little more than slightly shorter than him. That's because I haven't set up my stuff for more player models, but um, more player models just it lets you see when people are taller and stuff like that. It's actually really cool. Also, let me see. No, it's not working. Yeah, the thing where you can see... I don't think I have anything out of inventory. It's, it's a very flighty mod. It doesn't work sometimes, but usually there's a feature that lets you see whatever's on someone's back. Yeah. It's actually really cool when it does work. To add a little bit of uh, insight upon my next emote, my character is a druid, and he the druids normally do not partake in physical uh, confrontation, but for the sake of this video, we're going to include a fight, so he is going to partake in said actions, but there will be what is quoted as equivalent exchange involved. Yeah, so what exactly is the equivalent exchange thing? I've never really had that explained to me. Um, the equivalent exchange thing is for every action there must be an equal and opposite reaction. Oh. It's so, one of Newton's. So if you, like, but, if you hit somebody with a staff or something, you'd have to hit yourself? You'll see in my next couple of modes. Okay. So I had heard something about that, but I didn't really understand it. But not relevant right now. Um, for a good example of the equivalent exchange, my character, he had given up his eyesight purposely for the ability to, be, to see something sacred to the druids called the flow of life within someone. I can see that around me, but I don't have a regular eyesight anymore. So, like, my character has lost the ability to read or do anything like that, but he can sense living beings around him. All things like this must be done through approved or denied lore via the forums. You can't just say, my character has a magical power. Yeah, so, uh, one thing I showed in that last emote is one of the, uh, I guess curses or something in um on the server what in the name of Elysion it's um kind of like saying what in God's name is that um and that'll vary between where you are in Elysion because you'll have people from Winterbane will say what in Venice's name and things as that such yeah typically throughout my characters I stick with what in the name of Elysion because I think I used that that one before, and somebody got pissed at me, so I just, I try to stay neutral. Uh. Your character looks like he has buck teeth. 
Does he really? Yeah, look, look at his mouth. He does. Oh well, he's still intimidating. Bowl. Is that the right word? Bowl over the man? Like, to knock him over? I can't remember. Yeah. It's like bowling, but you try to bowl me. Alright. Stupid Joe and his outroppings. <laughs> Alright, so guys, this is where I'm going to start the fighting. Fighting is a very delicate thing in roleplay, because one, it has to make sense, two, your character has to have the ability to do it, and three, you have to be willing to lose. That's a, In my mind, that's the thing people have the most problem with, is they don't know how to lose properly. They'll either refuse to lose, or not know how to. So, um... And on the server, sorry for interrupting you, on the server, there is a rule that we cannot force you to permanently kill your character. Nobody on the server can force your character to die forever. But if you're in the middle of an RP situation where you know you're going to die, then you can agree to temporary death at which point you will do slash spawn when they kill you and it will take you back to where we are at right now actually and your character forgets that they were killed and the past 30 minutes um, real life time of what happened to them and you continue on your merry way role playing and correct me if I'm wrong but that 30 minutes like if, if I had just gotten on the server and got um, temporarily killed it extends to before you got on, correct? Like the last time you were on? Um, no, it only extends to current events. If it's something, like if you hadn't been online for two days and you just logged in and died, okay. then you wouldn't forget what happened two days ago. Alright, I wasn't sure about that, but... I knew, I knew it was like that on another server, and that screwed me over a couple of times. Are you going to continue that? Or are you, yeah. is that the end of it? Alright. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Alright, so one thing you noticed is he said, att is actually both of us did this. Um, I said tries to hit the man, he said is attempting to graze his arm. What that does is leaves the other person the ability to control the next part of what's happening. If I just say, uh, Blake hits the man in the face, then no matter what, he has to take that hit to the face. But because I said tries to hit him, 
he took the hit, but decided to ignore it. So, it leave it gives people more options in roleplay, and it just makes a much more uh, fun experience. And keep in mind, it is preferred, and it is also a rule to attempt things. If you just say, walks up to so and so and stabs him in the eye, instantly killing him, it's a power emote or power gain, and will get you in trouble so please make sure to always attempt actions unless it's a block if like someone is attempting to swing their sword at you and you have a shield you can 100 percent block that unless there is a prior circumstance that allows you not to So, what you can see there is I purposely got my character hurt. That's one thing you're going to have to do in roleplay eventually. Maybe not like this. That was... I, pr I normally wouldn't have taken that hit. But, um... Or I would have, but just not taking off his entire hand. But, um... You know, you're going to take hits, whether you like it or not. So, unless you're like a master swordsman fighting a novice, you have no reason not to have an attack hit. I mean, you're. I mean, it's just a part of the roleplay. In real life, you would take. I mean, you would get hit every once in a while. You get grazed. Uh, in roleplay, it's the same way. What you just saw there is the equivalent exchange that I was talking about earlier. That's one of the basis of all druid actions is equivalent exchange. And for him having to cause someone else physical pain, which is a violation of the druidic laws, he was forced to cut himself, which is why he just did, just to give some clarif clarification as to why I would ever injure myself. User joined your channel. You're shitting me. How did somebody did th do that? In this situation here, you would type into. Well, you'll type what I'm about to type into um, OOC chat. Or actually, you would type it in double brackets, not in OOC chat, before you make your next emote. And at this point, they would answer either yes or no, depending upon whether they would agree to have their character permanently killed to where they would have to start a new character. Which does not require a new application, as some people think it does. Yeah, to start a new character, just change your character card. That's all you have to change your character card and your skin, I'm sorry. And that's all you have to do, really. So, here I'm going to consent to the permadeath. Death, I'm sorry. Um, but in all honesty, it's completely optional. Um, if you don't, if you've been playing your character for a long time, don't accept it. You don't have to. But, um, you know, if it's a brand new character, I don't see why you shouldn't. But, uh. It's, it's a completely optional thing. A lot of people on the server have a rule. Most of them that I regularly speak to have a rule. If they get themselves into a situation where they're going to die, they always consent. It's not mandatory. You can choose not to die. Yeah, it's a general rule of thumb. If you pick the fight, take the consequences of it, regardless. I mean, don't wuss out and just say, Oh no, I like this character, I'm not gonna die. And... I guess I'm dead. 
I don't have any redstone on me. <laughs> no, I have an idea. <laughs> I, wait, wait. You have a lot of stuff on you, don't you? Yeah, dude, don't kill me. <laughs> I won't pick it up. Oh, I can't. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. What? This region is good to where you can't PV bite in it. What happened to the stake I threw? You threw a stake? Let me try to... Apparently it just deletes it. That's fun. Yeah, that's great. Oh well, well I was gonna throw a stake and have that be like my head or something. <laughs> you, re you can react to the emote, emote, say his head is lopped off, or he shifts his head, getting hit in the very middle center of his head rather than the neck, instantly killing him, something along those lines. Yeah, so let me go ahead and do that. So uh, that's a little bit of a melodramatic response, but uh, interesting all the same. But um, I guess that's it. Do you have anything else you want to go over, really? Tyler? Sorry, I was typing. Oh, um, is there anything else you want to just go over? Um, just to sum it all up, remember that always attempt to do something. PvP fighting is never allowed unless consented by both parties. And to remember if you're going to talk out of character, use double brackets because it gets confusing if people just type OOC messages in the middle of RP chat. Yeah, try to uh, not type too much OOC stuff, because it can just spam it so much. One thing you'll notice is I always have OOC chat turned off. I never have it on, because it's just annoying. Um, I mean, guys, this is a roleplay server. If you're going to play on it, roleplay. That's just my thing. If you want to talk OOC, get on TeamSpeak. Um, so that's my personal rule. You don't have to follow it, of course. And one last thing, you noticed throughout this whole fight, he was talking, and I could see his name on my screen, but I never said it, because he never directly introduced himself to me in roleplay. You cannot use people's names in chat, that your character knows them, because that's considered metagaming, which is another form of rule, where your character cannot use OOC information in roleplay. Uh, please try to follow that one, and thanks for watching the how-to RP video for Rise of Kings, the challenging roleplay experience.